Hey YouTube, sorry about that. I um, have to split the, this opening into two parts again this time. Uh, my uh, little Nikon ran out of battery power when I tried to do the first part, so I had to use my iPad. And unfortunately, my iPad uh, ran out of storage space, uh, so I wasn't able to get the entire box uh, opening for the first part. Uh, but at least you'll get to see uh, Utopia Ray Victory. Alright, so this is the last pack that I have. Uh, this is the uh, design that I pulled. Again, another prophecy. So let's get to this last pack. I already pre opened it when I realized, uh oh, my uh, iPad ran out of space. Uh, so let's do it. Alright, so we have Super Defense Robot Leo, Sonic Boom, Yellow Dustin, Bushini Turtle. The rare me Mecha Fan of Beast Warblerin. Oh, nice. Another super rare number. C104. Umbral Horror Masquerade. In fact, I pulled a uh, number 104 Masquerade uh, earlier. So this one is uh, very nice. Uh, I'll set it on top of here for now. I'm going to do a quick recap after I do this pack. Uh, Mecha Fan of Beast Coatwing. Vain Betrayer. Star Service Sword. And again, Super Defense Robot Leo. So that should wrap up this this box. Uh, all right. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I think actually. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna put these two together so you can see them both. Um, so here's a little quick recap. A couple of rares that I pulled uh, were the uh, Underworld Fighter uh, Balaman, uh, uh, Balming, sorry, Balmung, sorry. Torbus uh, 2 Forbidden Realms. Uh, and uh, Archfiend Emperor, the first World of Horror, which is actually a promo in uh, this uh, box as well. So you get it uh, ultra rare, and you might be able to get it in its regular rarities too. It's rare. And then, of course, uh, you just saw me pull uh, the uh, number C104 Umbral Horror Masquerade. And uh, I also have uh, number 104 Masquerade as a rare. And, of course, uh, we have... Uh, some cool pulls here, uh, XC's Encore, and uh, number C39, Utopia Ray Victory, along with the secret rare, World of Prophecy, which is a pretty cool secret rare, especially if you're into the uh, Prophecy decks. Uh, I guess uh, because it's very, very useful, because uh, what can happen here, I'm going to pull this on off. Just a quick moment, uh, when this card is special summoned by the effect of a spellcaster type monster or a spellbook spell card, you can target one, two spellbook spell cards in your graveyard and add those targets to your hand. You cannot special summon other monsters during this turn you activate this effect, but when you add cards to your hand by this effect, you can reveal four spellbook spell cards with different names on, in your hand and destroy all the other cards on the field. So I guess it's kind of like a... Uh, Black Rose Dragon for Prophecy decks, uh, but you must have uh, four Spellbook uh, spell cards. So you can use the first effect when you have two Spellbook spell cards already in your hand to get two more, and then use the second effect to, to clear out everything on the field. So it could be uh, pretty useful. I might sell this on my website at uh, daybeckchannel.weebly.com. The link will be in the description, uh, as is in uh, part one. And this one, the card that uh, I'm going to keep, uh, however, uh, number C39, Utopia Ray Victory, I was looking for that. So I might keep uh, Masquerade and, and Number 4 Masquerade too for my numbers collection. And I don't know what to do with this one, uh, either keep it or sell it. Just let me know what, what you guys think. Uh, also, just let me know what you guys think of my, about my videos in general. Uh, what can I uh, do to help improve them? Or, do you guys like them? Uh, if you do, then make sure to please rate this. Uh, hey, folks, uh, that's going to do it for me. I am DB, and uh, I'll catch you later. See ya! And don't forget, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! GX packs will be opening up next week. Uh, see ya!